During the early stages of a baby's life, every new experience is met with either a contempt feeling or one of unhappiness. The latter only results in one thing, crying spells. At a young age, contentment can soon turn to unhappiness for a number of reasons. For example, sensitivity to loud noises, or scary sights, can result in crying like it's the end of the world. This video has been put together to suggest ways to help comfort and control these responses. If your baby seems to be crying inconsolably and also shows signs like clenched fists or drawn knees, then they may have colic. This isn't anything to be concerned about. In the early stages of a baby's life, some can struggle with digesting milk properly as their bodily functions aren't fully developed until they are three months old. Adding enzymes to expressed or formula milk can relieve their symptoms within a few days and once their body is fully developed, they can slowly be weaned off the enzymes. For more information on this, consult your doctor or health visitor. If your baby has been fed and is still unhappy and crying, check to see if they need their nappy changing. Make sure you look out for any red patches or skin irritations appearing, such as nappy rash. If this does occur, nappy rash creams will help to give some welcome relief to your baby, as does giving your baby kick time with their nappy off. Giving your baby a bath can not only help with skin irritations, but can also help to relax them. They may find the warm water a natural comfort as it may remind them of being content within the room. Putting your baby to bed is often the best way to stop them from crying. Singing or musical toys can aid with the process and once the baby is familiar with the noise they will soon learn that the music is linked to a sleep routine and it can be then used as a trigger to calm them down. Alternatively, motion can have a calming effect. Gentle rocking movements or jigging your baby may put your baby in a relaxed state. Going for a walk, putting your baby in a baby bouncer, or moving the cot back and forth can also do the trick. And one of the best methods seems to be a quick trip out in the car. Thank you all for watching and hopefully some of these tips may help prevent your baby from crying excessively.